How are you doing? I'm just being all natural and cool and uh, interviewing myself. Uh, this is the first video, first of two uh, little lockdown interview videos that I'm doing with myself. Um, I'd, I'd love to have got uh, some of the other guys involved in the record in a room with me to discuss it, but unfortunately that is not to be. You may have heard we're in the middle of a global pandemic. So here I am on my lonesome. Um, but in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the making of the album I suppose mainly um, and uh, and so on and then in the next video I'll be talking a little bit about stuff like lyrics, future plans and most importantly uh, any questions that you might have so I'll remind you of this again at the end of the video but if you have uh, anything you want to ask me at all please let me know in the comments or um, or obviously send me a message, anything like that, and I'll be sure to include it in the next video. So without further ado, let's see, what is the first question, Paul? I would have to say um, pure, unadulterated narcissism, I suppose. <laughs> but um, more truthfully, or perhaps equally truthfully, um, I, it's no, no secret really that I became a little jaded with doing the same thing for a long time with uh, Spy as much as I absolutely love <laughs> the the stuff we released there and I'm immensely proud of it um, but for some reason Spy has always seemed to take a lot out of me mentally um, I just felt like I was being a little bit pushed <laughs> towards the edge um, with that and I really just kind of realised I just needed a change, needed to stop doing that for a bit do something different um, I already had a few songs floating around that I didn't really feel fit smoothly into the Spires mould. Um, so it just kind of seemed a logical thing to do to to consider it as a different project. And I, I owned an ad for a while about should it be just a, a different band, for example? Should I get a, you know, a, a new lineup of people together as, as a band? Or But then I just thought, well, these, these are all kind of quite personal songs to me. Uh, as cheesy as that sounds. So I thought, well, why not? Why not just call it a solo album? Um, you know, coming back to that narcissism that we mentioned before. So in summary, I just felt like I needed to do something different. Um, and to be honest, it's done me the world of good. I've absolutely loved doing it. I took a somewhat different approach to songwriting on this album to. Uh, previous Spires albums for example, um, I kind of allowed the process to flow more, it's a little less forced in some ways, a little bit more, I don't know if I can use a horrible phrase that I, that I detest, a little bit more from the heart. <laughs> um, makes me feel sick even saying that. But, um, it's, by that I mean, you know, it's an undeniably less technical record. Um, I wanted to concentrate more solely on the emotional impact uh, of the music, um, you know, of each song, rather than the twiddliness of my fingers, for example. Um, I'm not sure Al and, and Tom necessarily got that, that memo on the bass and drums. Uh, plenty of twiddliness going on there. Um, and, um, you know, to be honest, yes, it's still pretty technical in places. I'm only joking there, obviously. But, uh, you know, um, but I just find that these days when I listen to music, um, it's the it's the emotion of it that I'm enjoying, it's the way it makes you feel rather than the, the technical details, um, which you know I used to be more interested in and you know, to a certain extent still am. Um, I suppose what I'm trying to say is that as I get older I'm kind of unbecoming a muso in a way. <laughs> um, so, um, but yeah, you know, the, the, the songs in themselves, each song in itself came together fairly quickly, although they have been written over a a fairly long period of time so you know I, I'm conscious that the album could have had a, a fairly disjointed feel um, it's not a concept album we'll talk about lyrics later on like like, uh, like the last Spires album um, and particularly as there's a lot of varying styles going on you know I'm very conscious that it, that it could have come out disjointed but I've tried to play that down in, in the way I've arranged the album and, and I actually think the, the album flows really well I, I only listen to it kind of start to finish for the first time quite recently in, in, in one city. Um, I don't know if I flow beautifully, it takes you on a nice little emotional roller coaster. Um, but then again, I kind of have to say that. 
it could be uh, it could be rubbish. I feel I've, I've written the album that I wanted to write, um, and that I've enjoyed writing. And for me, that's the most important thing. Uh, it's not that I don't want to please people. Obviously, I want you to like it. I want I want it to be well received. Um, but it's a firm belief of mine that you should never adapt to your approach, your, your songwriting, for example, for to, to please other people. Um, after all, the, the, you know, there's going to be some, there's going to be other people out there who like more or less the same things as you. So you really don't have to make a big effort to please people. You will please some people um, if what you do is 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 good, as objective as as a term as that can be, um, and you won't please everyone. You know, and that's fair enough. Um, might not please anyone. <laughs> That's also fair enough. But uh, yeah, and by that I don't mean that you know you should be writing obscure music or anything. You know, if it could be three chord pop, if that's what you want to hear, then that's what you should create. So that's my philosophy on these things.